Okay, so is all this a simulation? Okay, because a lot of people think it is. I'm one of those people who think it is to an extent, but I don't think it is like the simulations that we've created here, because all the simulations we've created here as humanity are basically um, mimicking what reality is in general. So if reality is a simulation, I think personally that it would be more of one simulation based on many, okay? So our experience of this reality could be part of a bigger simulation with many, many different realities, many, many different vibrations, many different paradigms, um, which means that extraterrestrial life might not only be here on our level of the simulation, but also extra dimensional rather than extraterrestrial. Um, because reality can take any form that consciousness makes it into, you see. Because uh, there's there's millions and millions upon billions of, uh, of different realities, different vibrations, all happening simultaneously. And a lot of you will be aware of that because um, even the colour spectrum that we actually see is a tiny proportion of the overall colour spectrum. Um, we tune into radio stations via a dial but all those other stations are still happening simultaneously. Um, and I, I believe that, that there is multiple realities all happening simultaneously and where our consciousness is just focused on one. But does that mean it's a simulation? I think we're probably a byproduct of a, an overall simulation because everything is an illusion. Quantum physics has, has showed this and consciousness itself has no time because time is an illusion as well, because consciousness itself is instantaneously, which is what they prove with the um, the quantum physics, quantum entanglement experiments. Um, so time itself is an illusion, and it's also what creates cause and effect, because without cause and effect, we wouldn't be able to kind of play this game that we're in. We wouldn't be able to, to, to think something, imagine it, then create it using the simulation, using the pixels, which is also known as atoms. So, I do think this is some kind of a very, very advanced simulation and we're just a byproduct of that. But what I don't think is happening here, guys, is I don't think... I don't think it is a simulation in the same way as we've made simulations, because we've just mimicked this reality and made it into a simulation. However, if you do think like that and you see it as a simulation in the way we've mimicked it, okay, for instance, if you, if you walk around imagining that you're in a form of GTA and you see everything as a creation, which it is, um, then you will kind of appreciate everything a lot more. This is what I do a lot of the time. Um, my happiest states that I get in is when I'm literally seeing all this as a game and a, 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 and a design game that I'm here in the game and I can do whatever I want in the game. That's, that's when I'm the happiest. Because when you get to this level of awareness and you, you see everything as a creation, you start to appreciate it more, you see? You start to enjoy life more because you can go out, get some food, have a coffee. You don't just see it for the food. You don't just drink the coffee and and that's it like you do when you're a child because you don't realize these things when you're a child. Well, well, most people don't anyway. You might have. But when I was a child, I was still getting to know the world and, and, and trying to figure out what all this reality was. So then I didn't have a broader perspective to see it from um, a more kind of appreciative view or angle. Because as we transcend up the levels of awareness, which is the levels, then we see it all and we appreciate it all more. And eventually we'll get to a point where we kind of appreciate everything so much that we see everything as a game and a simulation and everything to, to be joyful about then we were kind of classed as enlightenment, enlightened, which is what enlightenment is. It's the end of all suffering. And the only way you can do that is by finding yourself within this simulation and realizing that everything is an illusion and you can manipulate it any way you want to have an amazing time, you see. So, so a good analogy of this would be like if, say for instance, you become homeless. I've always thought about this, okay? If, if I lost everything I've got and I became homeless, um, would I would I be happy still? And the more I think about it, this, this the more I think I will be happy because even if I was homeless, I'd still be able to to try and get a, 
some pennies together to get a cup of coffee and sit and enjoy that cup of coffee and, and, and marvel at the creation of life itself. See, this is when, this is real liberation. And that the way you get to this point is by going through the levels, okay? And what I mean by the levels is all the different paradigms you, you go through to get to this point now where we appreciate life for what it is and this, that appreciation cannot be kind of brought down by anyone else on a lower paradigm. Um, so it's kind of like levels and at the end of each level there's a boss that you've got to come, that you've got to literally beat and then when you beat the boss you get on the next level which is better you see because the, the higher up levels you go in this reality the, the more is revealed to you okay because it's all already there it's just we're not tuned into it you see so the, the, the more that's revealed to you and the more that's revealed to you the more you start enjoying life because more things to enjoy are revealed to you you see so when you're on lower levels um, of the game uh, the kind of thing you enjoy is um, very much um, like clusters lower level paradigms where you, you're trying to constantly try and get sex or you're constantly trying to get money or you, you want things you see you're always in a wanting stage and when you're on that level you, you kind of always want but whatever you get you're never satisfied so you want more you want more you want more but when you get on the high levels it's revealed to you that you don't need more because you can be appreciate the little things in life on a level that's more uh, kind of joyful than what it was appreciating the money when you used to get it you see so all these uh, different levels of awareness are revealed to you as you get over these bosses and what, what do i mean by bosses here guys what i mean by is the bosses are the very hard things that happen in your life okay it's like the dark nights of the soul that you have to go through okay an example of it would be uh, say you're looking for sex all the time which a lot of men do when they're younger um but eventually get to a very selfish stage stage where they're looking for sex constantly then eventually they'll meet someone who they really like but because they're always looking for sex they'll cheat on them and then all this will just come crashing on them and they'll end up going through a very bad time because they, they start to realize all the bad things they're doing and all the karma that's catching up to them so so that this is these are the bad things that happen to you guys um another thing is loss if you don't appreciate someone and you don't give them enough love and then you lose them in your life you will then go through a lot of suffering because of the guilt in your mind that you didn't give them enough love. And this is another lesson of the higher paradigms. You see, you learn love because you realize if you love someone 100%, okay, and you don't treat them in a bad way and you treat people the way you want to be treated yourself, when you finally lose these people, um, they'll literally, you'll literally deal with the loss easier because you know in your heart, in your in your level of awareness that you gave them everything you could you see and there's no guilt anymore and this is liberation so as you go up these levels of awareness things are revealed to you and everything just becomes um a lot better okay life becomes a lot more joyful you can literally wake up in the morning and do what you love doing and not only that the universe are created in a way where you can do what you love doing and it brings everything else to you as well because you can do what you love doing, make money from it, get everything you want, everything you've ever wanted in your life will start coming to you when you reach these higher levels of the game. But there is a big responsibility as well because everything serves double duty, you see? Because the higher up the game you go, um, the more reality you see, okay? So you see the people on the lower levels of the game and you see all the things they're falling for in the media, the news and all this. And you're kind of an outsider sometimes just looking at it and um, not, I'm not saying you have to get involved with it because you, you don't have to go on lower levels. You can if you wish, but you wouldn't want to do that, you see. But they kind of see the higher levels. So you feel very much alone, you see. So it's a big responsibility when you're on the higher levels of the game because you see too much. It affects you very, very badly, okay? When you see everybody... Um, doing crazy things like like walking around by themselves with masks on etc or, or or doing things that are in it from a very unconscious way and they're not using the common sense uh, you realize that that used to be you you see and you realize what they're doing wrong and you realize on the path they're on but eventually they will learn okay they will go up the levels of awareness but sometimes you feel very alone because you just want to step in and help them but you kind of just step in and help them you see because Anybody on a lower level of awareness 
cannot understand someone on a high level of awareness but the people on the high level of awareness can understand the lower levels you see it's like it's exactly like the way games have been designed in this reality okay you go up the levels you get on level 10 you already know that you can do level 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 you see because you can do them because you've you've gone through them this is why the only thing in life that gets you on these high levels is experience okay you cannot learn this stuff without experience so a lot of these new age teachers out there are teaching all these things telling people to go and use the law of attraction go and manifest whatever they want but these people are not experienced enough to know how the laws of the universe work yet so they can do that this is why there's a lot of frustration in the new age communities um but but yeah it does work like a game guys it works a little bit like the games we've created here but we've created these games based on this reality and the reason we create games with levels is because reality works on levels you see if it didn't we wouldn't have the idea to create games on levels so it's just mimicking this reality and um one thing i know for sure is it is a game and it is levels okay and the higher up levels you go the more love you get for other people because you learn all the laws of the universe and one of those main laws is the law of um cause and effect so if you treat people the way you want to be treated you know that the universe is going to treat you the way you want to be you want to treat yourself as well so it's going to it's going to bring you all these rewards and things like that not that you should do it for a reward because you should never look at the outcome when you do these things we should do it you should look at people uh, the way you want to be treat yourself treat people like that okay if you've got a dog try and jump in the dog's consciousness see what it's like to be a dog imagine being a dog and then treat that dog the way you would want to be treated if you were a dog because ultimately you are that dog you see everybody is one you are everybody it's just consciousness looking at itself from different angles and there is no time it's all happening simultaneously there's just lots of different angles you can go on as you progress and you, you, your consciousness expands that way and that is the game okay the, we're here to learn we're here to expand our consciousness so we can reach these levels where we see everything as a whole because we are oneness and anybody who's had a near-death experience or took a, enough uh, DMT, whatever, you might have experienced this oneness and you literally shoot out your body and, you, and, you, and everything flies away from you and you see the oneness and you are everything, you are all consciousness at, at once. You are everything and you see that, okay? And it's a very... Um, I, it's a big eye opener when you see that because you realize that you are everything all happening simultaneously but um, we're just here experiencing it from different angles so we can get that experience and um, and grow that way and basically enjoy the journey okay we're here to enjoy the journey so try not to look too much in the future guys try and enjoy the journey realize it's a game um, actually go out there imagining it's a game and you'll start appreciating it more where you can go places like to the woods and you can look at leaves you can go to the beach you can watch the waves actually see it as a creation that something's created because it has okay because our minds create everything and uh, see it that way and you'll start to really appreciate things and you'll start to have a lot of fun out there just knowing it's a game knowing it's a free world to go and explore freedom is everything you have the choice to do what you want to do don't let anybody tell you what to do unless it's for your own safety or for the, or for the safety of humanity. But once you learn all these laws, you know that anyway. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Um, so the bottom line is, I think this is definitely a simulation of some kind. It's uh, We're definitely all one. It is levels of awareness. It's all vibration. It's all happening simultaneously. Um, as soon as I think of something else about this um, that I want to uh, share with you guys, I will. Leave your comments. Uh, thanks for listening to me today, guys. Have a nice day.